Now we need to add a single digit number to a three digit number. And we're going to do this on a number line using bridging. That means we're going to add however many we need to get to the next multiple of 10, so to a number that ends in a zero, then we're going to add the rest. First, we have 479 plus four. So on a number line, we can start with 479, and if we add one more, that takes us to 480. So to a multiple of 10, a number that ends in a zero. But we've only added one, and we need to add four, so that means we need to add three more. And that gives us our answer, 483. Now, let's try 328 plus 6. If we start at 328, we can add 2 to get to 330, so get to the next multiple of 10. And then, if we want to add 6, we need to add 4 more. Because if we add 2 and then add 4, we've added 6 altogether. So 330 plus 4 is 334. So that's our answer. Now here, I've used a number line. But you might be able to work these questions out mentally. So without needing to use a number line. Using mental methods instead. And the easiest way to do that is to think how many more to get to the next multiple of 10, so here to 330, and then how many do I need to add after that? Now we have 695 plus 9. Well, if we add 5, that will take us to 700, because we already have 9 tens in the number we start with. So we've added 5 and want to add 9 altogether, so we just need to add another 4, and that gives us 704 as our answer. And finally, we have 294 plus 8. We can start with 294, and we know that 6 more will take us to 300, because 4 and 6 make a number bond to 10, but as we already have 9 tens, our hundreds digit moves up. So we've added 6 and need to add 8, so we just need to add 2 more, so our answer is 302. So now, let's take a closer look at these questions, but let's show base 10 blocks so that we can understand what's happening. First, we had 479, so there's 400s, 7 10s, and 9 ones, and we were adding 4. First, we can add 1, and that means we have 10 ones, so that gives us another 10, so takes us to 480, and then we just need to add 3 more ones, so that we've added 4 ones altogether, and that means that we have 400s, 8 tens, and 3 ones, so that's 483. Then we started with 328. If we first add 2, that gives us 330, but that's adding 2, and we need to add 6, so we need to add 4 more 1s, so that we've added 6 altogether, and that means we have 300s, 3 tens, and 4 1s, so that's 334. Now, we started with 695, so 600s, 9 tens, and 5 ones. If we first add 5, that gives us 10 ones, which we can exchange for 1 10, but now we've got 10 tens, so we need to exchange those for 100. So adding 5 has given us 700, but we want to add 9, so we need to add 4 more to give us 704 as our answer. And then 294, so there's 200s, 9 tens, and 4 ones, and we need to add 8. If we first add 6, that takes us to 300, because we've got 10 ones now, so we exchange those for 110, and doing that means we have 10 tens, 
so we exchange those for an extra 100. So 294 plus 6 is 300, but that's adding 6, and we want to add 8. So we need to add 2 more, so that we've added 8 altogether, and that gives us 302. Now we can also represent addition using place value counters. So here we started with 479, so that's 400s, 7 tenths, and 9 ones, and we need to add 4, so that's add 4 ones. We can add 1, then exchange 10 ones for 1 10, and then add 2, 3, 4, and that gives us 483 as our answer. Here we started with 328, so there's 300s, 2 tens, and 8 ones. To add 6, we can first add 1, 2, exchange, then add 3, 4, 5, 6, to give us 334. Then 695 means we have 600s, 9 tens, and 5 ones. We need to add 9 ones, but we can first add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, exchange, then exchange again. Then, because we've already added 5, we need to add 4 more. So if we add another 4 ones, that gives us 704. And for 294 plus 8, we can start with 294. First of all, we can add 6 ones, then exchange, and exchange again. And then, because adding 6 ones takes us to 300, we just need to add 2 more ones, and that gives us 302.